Welcome back to the 7 on 8. It is Thursday. I did double check because I think a lot of us have forgotten what day of the week it is. Uh, and of course, we're in the middle of election chaos. But and a pandemic. And a pandemic. But we can't get through <laughs> Thursday without a round of Ask Ellen, of course. Today's question comes from Jim. He wants to know about these cool clouds. And Ellen, what a... I mean, these are phenomenal photos that he sent in, but, but what's that? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Yeah. So this is a great question, and we saw uh, several viewers write in with shots of clouds like this saying, how does this even happen? Yeah. This is called either a false streak hole or a hole punch huh. in, the, in the sky. Interesting. And it's because it, it looks like someone just punched yeah. a hole right in the clouds. So let's talk about false streak holes and how they even form. They usually happen when there's already a layer of clouds out and about, and then you get some sort of upper cloud layer. A lot of times this can be introduced by something like an airplane rolling across the sky. So that happens at high altitudes and that contains some ice crystals. And if conditions are right, the ice crystals will fall into the lower cloud bank. And if that lower cloud bank is made of water droplets, but not just water droplets, super cooled water droplets, then immediately when the ice crystals hit the cloud, it triggers rain and it opens up a little hole in the clouds. Now, oftentimes, the rain doesn't actually make it to the ground. Instead, it just creates this wispy effect. Hmm. So you get the clearing of the cloud bank, and then you also get these wispy falling portions in the middle. So it looks like someone took a hole puncher, and they just clip right through it. So in the previous picture, you can see clearly where the jet likely flew through, yeah. and it created that effect. And then here, you just have probably a single ice crystal or two punching that hole out of the clouds. So very neat. It happens with two layers and an ice crystal. That's and so an interesting. Yeah. Huh. And thank the photos were great, too. So thanks for sending those yes. in. Ellen, thank you, as always. If you want to submit a question for this segment, you can send us a video of yourself asking the question. We also love videos of children asking questions. You can email that to the 7 on 8 at woodtv.com. You can also just post your question to Facebook or Twitter or send it directly to Ellen.